All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of FM21's Project Black Sea. Last episode is linked above, my friends. Make sure you go click on that and go and check it out. Um, I'm hoping at the time of recording this video that uh, I will have kind of done my big channel update, kind of revealed everything that's going to be happening uh, in the next sort of year or so, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, if I haven't released it, then I'm being... A pain in the ass, basically, because I should have released it, my friends, to let you know what's going on. Uh, we are going to crack on with some more Football Manager today. Uh, we've got about four weeks left in the series. Um, I've recorded this right up until its end now. Uh, so we've got about 20 episodes, about 20 episodes, I should say, uh, to get through. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do it over the next four weeks because we've got FM22 on the horizon, my friends, and we've got another big episode in today's one. Uh, I'm going to apologise now if it sounds a little all strange on the audio the room is obviously been it's been emptied out it's not full up with stuff at the moment i think i need to kind of soundproof a little bit in the area that i record to me it sounds a little echoey but it might not be being picked up on the audio uh i'm saying it now because i'm obviously talking post edit pre-edit whatever let's get into it so my friends, we begin at the transfer screen, uh, because obviously last episode uh, was a season beginning episode, uh, you know, I've already linked you, go watch it though if you haven't done so already. Uh, I was introducing brand new signings and uh, Norbert uh, Sensgradi was one that we were looking at, uh, we finally got him over the line, four and a half million up front with the add-ons can go to about 13 million, 19 years of age, a young centre-back who I think looks pretty decent, um, could slot in straight away in my opinion, next to Yosefov, uh, but uh, we, we, we are still, um, we're still kind of messing around with the defence, we're still trying to strengthen that, I feel like going forward the attacking areas of this team uh, are, are there pretty much, all young players that we could develop into very, very good players, but uh, you know, this end of the uh, end of the football pitch is, is where the work needs doing basically, and uh, I've done a little bit of work by bringing in this lad, as you can see, current ability, three and a half stars, could get to a potential of four stars if he can fulfil it all the way through, but uh, if you're just looking at him on paper, attributes wise, uh, he's got all of the attributes I want in a ball uh, playing defender basically so yeah that is the only bit of transfer business I've done I don't think I've got any more business I'm trying to do at the moment I'm not sure uh, you know if there if, if there is going to be any more business the window is closed in Bulgaria but I, I do continue to look at players all the way through uh, but uh, let me take you to the fixture screen so you can see what's been going on so obviously last episode we played two legs against AGF um, in the Champions League playoff um games we've made it through to the group stages and we're actually going to kick the group stage off in today's episode i was going to play through and do the next game but i thought you know what like this is the these are the episodes we're concentrating on the most now up until uh, this series has ended uh, so herfa basically is uh, is the game we're going to play today um you know and i, I do want to say although i've recorded this series up until its end I, it doesn't mean that we've actually done it um, we could have failed. I'm just going to throw it out there. Basically, I had to give myself a time scale because of the release of the new game. So there's nothing to say that we've actually done it, my friends. But uh, you just have to keep your eyes peeled over the next four weeks or so. Uh, but uh, in the time between last episode and this one, you'll see Habar were the first team up. A 5-1 victory uh, for us in this one. Kovacevic, Pospisil with a hat-trick. And Yosefov was the other man uh, with a goal. And then we came up against Loko Plovdiv. And uh, Zakanovic got himself a 39 minute hat trick just absolutely beautiful stuff it's lovely to see both strikers banging hat tricks in those two games today's episode like i've already said though her for berlin are going to be up first then we're going to play slavia sofia um in the game after that and then uh, when all is said and done we'll talk about what we're going to do in next time my friends but uh, let's take a quick look at the league table uh, so you can see what's happening as a result of those two games being played uh, we are still top of the pile seven played seven wins uh, you're going to see Pospisil's top of the goal scoring charts Gagliardi top of the average uh, rating and the assists and you've got uh, Saka uh, Tanovic at the top of the clean sheets um, you know so it's been a, a top season already for Latex and um we're already on our way, by the looks of things, to another uh, FBET league title, um, which would be absolutely brilliant, wouldn't it? But anyway, let's crack on, my friends, with today's episode. 
And uh, this is the team I've chosen to go with against Hertha Berlin. Now, I'm going to try to do what I did last season and just try to be a bit more positive, basically. Uh, I'm going to stop all this going negative with the defensive formation and just go for it. End of the day, if we, if, we, if we get beat, we get beat. But I find with this formation, we have a better chance of always winning the games because, uh, you know, when we go to the defensive one, it kind of negates everything we do well. The counter-attacking football, the good passing play. Um, and, uh, yeah, it just doesn't really work out for us. But... Uh, it's still there if we need to hold on to leads and stuff. But uh, the team we are going to go with in this first game, ladies and gentlemen, is Atanovic in goal, Uzanov and uh, Leonardo at fullback. We're going to go Yosefov next to Kahar in centre-back. That's going to probably be my centre-back partnership uh, this season. We're going to go Lesko next to Fielding in the midfield. Uh, we're going to go Alvarez and Kovacevic on the wings. Gagliardi through the middle and Pospisil up top. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First game of today's episode is obviously the big one against Hertha Berlin. And uh, yeah, let's just see how we get our group stage underway, basically, this season. Uh, I, I guess the aim has to be to get to the knockout rounds and try to repeat what we did last year. Obviously, that is going to be uh, quite the thing to do because... Uh, and the day, who, who expected us to get all the way to a semi-final last season? Um, surprised me, surprised the people that are watching, definitely. But, um, you know, we were so close as well, so, so close to getting to the final. Um, just extra time winner for Chelsea, unfortunately. But uh, let's just see if we can rinse and repeat this season. Uh, here we go, though. First highlight of the game, and uh, it does fall the way of us. And that's a lovely ball. Up the wing, Gagliardi tried to tuck inside, but it's a good tackle in the end from the from the uh, German team. But Fielding picks that up, loses the ball. Kovacevic wins it back. Good stuff from the boys. He's going to drive forward. Coming inside, still Kovacevic, and it ends up being a very, very weak shot in the end. Um, it's a good chance. has to go down as a good chance for us uh, in this one. And uh, 15 minutes gone, and it's very, very even, this one. Throw in, though, into Gagliardi, back to Leonardo. Gagliardi again, just a little bit of keep ball between them there. Now out on the wing, that's a lovely ball into Pospisil, and he can't put the, the, the ball in the back of the net. He cannot put it away. It's a good save from the keeper. Corner now, Gagliardi into Alvarez. We go short here, back to Gagliardi. He's got the space. And it's another good save from the goalkeeper. He's having a very, very good game to this point already, but uh, it's good stuff. It's nice to see us applying the pressure, creating the chances, and uh, getting him behind this defensive line. Um, just need a good start to this group stage, in my opinion. Um, a, a win or a draw, I think, would be a good result. Her for a good team, been going well in the Bundesliga now for some time, so... Uh, so, yeah, it'll be, um, be interesting to see what happens in this. But uh, it's even. It's really even. We're on top of the possession slightly. A few more shots, but uh, it is a very, very even game. And sort of what I expected, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, her for starting to apply the pressure, though. Free kick. And it's a really good free kick as Jamie Lawrence puts the ball in the back of the net. We're going to demand a bit more from the boys because uh, I was looking at the stats. And, yeah, you can see Herfer have just started to sort of up the pressure. Tanovic now with the goal kick. Short into Kahar. He plays out into fielding. Into Kovacevic. Across that halfway line. Kovacevic drives up this right wing. Is he going to try and go past his man or is he going to use the player he's got there? No, he gets quite lucky there as the ball bounces off him. Into let's go! Puts it into the top corner. What a goal that is from Lesko. Absolutely hammered it. But I think we have to give uh, we have to give Kovacevic a lot of praise there because he did not give up on that one, did he? Um we're going to go into half-time here, and that's not the worst half of football. It does have to be said. Um, we've had a pretty good time of it. So uh, we're just going to try and pump the boys up, basically. Get them back out there and uh, see if we can get the job done in this second half. But what a... To be fair, both of them goals are very, very good. Their, their goal was uh, was very similar to ours, the way they played it into the box and just hammered it into the goal. Uh, might have to think about changes soon. You can see Alvarez is a bit leggy at the moment. Gagliardi not having a good game as uh, Herford do have a free kick and they've headed that just over the bar. Um, Herfer have really started to kind of take control of the game uh, not, not as far as possession but definitely where the shots are twice as many shots as us um, but that's to be expected from the home team um, Gagliardi 
is going to make way for Delessandro, and I'm going to put Lesko into the attacking midfield area. Um, he can play that role. I prefer him as a box to box. I think he offers us more in that midfield, but uh, but he can play further forward. He's got the passing ability to do so. Seventy odd minutes, nearly on the clock there. Um, 20 to go. It's been an all right game. It's been a pretty competitive fixture, hasn't it, this one? Um, Going to make another change. Pospisil for Zakanovic. This is the good thing about having two very, very good strikers who are happy to rotate with each other because you've always got a threat from the bench. Um, they've really come into it this second half, Herfa. They've, they've really tried to go for the win. Statistically, anyway, you might not have seen much going on in the game, but they, yeah, they definitely did. Uh, stick it, st 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 uh, statistically, we're going to get uh, Tassev on for for Alvarez as well because he was uh, he was uh, really really blowing, wasn't he? And uh, it does look oh, famous last words. I was about to say, it looks as though we're going to take a point. They forced an unbelievable save out of Tanovic from that free kick. We are literally into the dying embers of this one, and I would be devastated if we were to lose it. But it doesn't look like we're gonna. It looks as though it's going to be. Points shared in this opening fixture of this year's Champions League group stage. They take a pot shot from distance. Nothing happens from it. And there you have it. A point earned opening day. Well, that wasn't the worst way to start a Champions League group stage phase. Hertha Berlin are no pushover. I should throw it out there. They've been playing really, really well. I've had a look at them and their history. And they've really pushed on in the Bundesliga. So uh, that's a good result for us. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we are still very, very new to the Champions League, aren't we? Uh, I know the last couple of years we've kind of exceeded expectation. And we're going to have to try and do it again this year. But um, I still feel like we're pretty new to the competition. So any point is welcome as far as I'm concerned. But we are back. Back to league action now. Uh, and this is the team we're going to go with for the game against Slavia Sofia. That is at home. We're going to go Tanovic in goal. Uznov and Leonardo at fullback. Yosefov and Kahar centre-back. Lesko is going to partner D'Alessandro in the midfield in this one. Uh, Tassov is going to go left. Kovacevic is going to go right. Ronaldson through the middle. And we're going to go Pospisil up top. And so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, into the second game of today's episode. Um, a relatively good result, I think, as I've already said in the Herfa game. Um... You know, they're, they're a good team at the end of the day. Uh, they were always going to cause us problems. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that result. I'll, I'll be very, very honest with you. Um, but now we're back to league action. I think we have to get back to winning ways. I think, you know, this is where this is where we dominate. This is just for fun. This is just to see what the team's capable of. And, um, yeah, Slavia, Sofia are all, stand, all that stand in our way from a 100% record this season once again as the game does kick off. And early doors, we're going to have a highlight. Uh, Renolson into D'Alessandro, plays it into Renolson. He goes wide and Uzanov, Pavel Uzanov, out wide on the left. His first shot hit the defender, got lucky, took another one. Keeper had uh, butterfingers and uh, squeezes in. And it were already 1-0 to the good inside a couple of minutes in this game. Um, we... Uh, we're going all right in the league. Like it's it's you know it's easy peasy in it. The league at the end of the day, it's uh, it's becoming a it's getting to a point now where uh, I could probably do it with my eyes closed to be honest with you. We are just uh, dominating, but Tassev has picked up an injury. Um, that is not ideal. We'll bring Topazov on. He can play on the left hand side. Um, and uh, Ronaldson now on the football. He goes back to Usanov into Yosefov. Into Lesko, into Renolson, playing forward. Lovely job. Goes wide into Leonardo. Can't dig the ball into the box. And uh, we're going to potentially give Slavia Sofia a chance now. They've cleared that ball out, though. They're not going to go anywhere like that, are they? Um, Kahar now. Lesko goes wide into Topazov, who has been tackled. It's a penalty. And I've got to be honest with you. FM22 needs to improve this penalty thing because that just looks like a clean tackle to me. But penalty given, Pospisil dispatches. I shouldn't complain because we're 2-0 to the good, but it's definitely very buggy, the penalties this year. Um, the amount of times that I, I'll watch one of my defenders make a clean tackle and they'll go penalty, and it just annoys me. It really, really does. Uh, so I hope they tidy that up in FM22. But... Um, 25 minutes on the clock, and it is a breeze, this game. 11 shot, uh, 12 shots, 4 on target, 61% of the possession. Just it's a dominant, dominant display. Uh, you'll see other teams in and around are doing all right. 
um, this season. We've actually got Ludogrets, other team, chasing us at the moment. Doing all right this season. Game in hand over us. Um, but yeah, it's all, all hunky-dory. Let's go. Ball into the box. Header. Easy, easy save for the keeper. Now, they're going to try and go quick, and they've gone too quick. Azuzanov picks the ball up, makes it look easy. Topes into Lesko, comes wide out into Uzanov, who's in acres of space, fires Topes off, shot, blocked by the defenders. They've cleared out again. We're going to recycle again. There's just nothing up top for them. Um, it is pointless clearing the ball out the way they are. Uh, nice passing here from the boys, just looking after it. Topes off now. Ball into Kovacevic. What a ball that is from Topazov. He gets himself the assist in the game. And this is so easy. It's so, so easy. But what a performance. You have to you have to say as easy as it is, you have to beat the team in front of you. And we are doing that at the moment. We're doing that very, very well. Oh, I'm happy about that. But uh, we now move into half time and it, you know, full of praise. End of the day, I can only be full of praise for the boys and we just send them back out there in the second half um, i'm hoping that injury to tasev isn't going to be too bad he's kind of like my only option on the left when we're not playing alvarez at the minute because of vanex injury um so yeah it's one of those things not a shot not a sniff for slavia in the game ladies and gents it has honestly been a horror show for them where are they in the league well, they're down in 12th. They are having a bit of a season, aren't they? Uh, let's make a change. Um, let's bring Kovacevic off for Gagliardi. Uh, we'll just rest up Kovacevic as he does play a hell of a lot of football for us. Um, yeah, we're just kind of trucking along in this second half, aren't we? It's uh, Oh, they've had, they've had a shot. They've finally had a shot, everyone. But yeah, we're kind of trucking along. We did all the hard work in the first half. I'm going to make that change, the Lesko one. Uh, we'll do the quick change, make it a bit easier. Um, it doesn't seem to have done it, though. It didn't make the change. Very strange. 3-0 um, for Botev against Cherno. And uh, this is going to be game, set, match. Job done. And so there you have it, my friends. We are done, really, for another episode of this uh, lovely little series. A 3 deal win there against Slavia was uh, basically easy work, wasn't it? But it always tends to be now where the league is concerned. Um, where are we going to bring this back? I'm I'm thinking Manchester United. I think that, that makes the most sense, to be honest with you. Because, obviously, we did the playoffs. I've only done a couple of games. It'd be nice to kind of push the series up. Well, not the series, but just push it on a bit, ready for next episode. Um, so I'm thinking Man United and Levski Sofia. We know how good Levski Sofia are. Um, they're, they're, they're always a, a big rival of ours in the league. So that might be a good episode uh, to do for next time. So, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. And it'll maybe line us up nicely for the episode after because we might be in a position then to see if uh, a couple of positive results sees us, uh, sees us through from the group stage into the next, uh, the next stages. End of the day, after what we did last season, uh, that has to be... That has to be uh, basically the aim, is to get through the group stages and into the, the, the latter rounds, basically. Um, so, yeah, that's probably what we're going to aim for. A quick look at the tables uh, after today's episode. You'll see 24 points on the board now in the league. Um, eight from eight. It's a perfect record. And, you know, it's been a long time since we've dropped points in the league. You remember last season, we were at 31 for 31. You're plus in the eight. Uh, and the pre previous season, there was a little run as well. So, yeah, it's been a long, long time since we've dropped points in the league. It just shows you how dominant we've become in Bulgaria. Um, and then the UEFA Champions League, you'll see the one point is on the board, ladies and gents. And it's a good start, in my opinion, in what appears to be a harder group than I probably gave it credit for in the first episode of this current season. But uh, yeah, I'm done. Join me next time.
So there you are, my friends, we're done and dusted for another episode of FM21's Project Black Sea. It's a good start to the Champions League campaign, that's basically all we care about now. Domestically, we are just tearing it up, it's boring, we're moving forward. We're just going to be concentrating over the next, you know, however many episodes on the signings, building a good team to get to that Champions League final, because that is the bit that's most important, my friends. But I am done and a dusted. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, it'd be very much appreciated. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, the more likes I get, the more chance I get to get in the... Uh, YouTube algorithms around here is how it works. I don't know if it is. Just do it, please. It'd be nice if you would support me. But anyway, my friends, I am Ski. saluting you all. Have a good day. Stay safe, stay humble, and I'll see you on the next one.